Yo, my slang is editorial, explicit material, briefcase flow, live in stereo flow, feel me down to reality, set the black people free, killer bees got the best steed, it's the going on podcast. Everyone who's waiting to send their hate comments already knows and is waiting in the wings for our, for our Donda discussion, but that's gonna have to wait just a second, because we wanted to talk about a couple of um, eyesores in the meantime. Jumping off from the fact that, uh, you know, the the album Du Jour actually doesn't have an album cover for real. It's just black, right? It, it, am I mistaken here? Yes. I think, unless they actually release physical copies, I am led to believe that it just doesn't have one. Which, the albums you showed me, and we're going to be discussing... Yeah, you know, I guess the question really becomes, which is worse? <laughs> I honestly, because in this day and age when streaming is king, when people are way less likely to buy physical releases, when they are more willing to stream from Tidal or Spotify or iTunes or Apple Music, rather, it's almost like, do you even need to have album art at that point? So it's almost like when people do actually have album art it's kind of like yeah okay cool you you took that extra step you went that extra mile but you don't necessarily have to and i appreciate it like especially as someone who loves music you know and like even so like i i like having like and appreciate what like you know if you have the means to do so why the fuck not create like a little mini world within the, like that gives you more incentive to buy the album i would feel right like it's like oh cool there's like a there's like an extra incentive like especially like like even today i would go back and buy a parliament album even today just because i want to see the extra shit in there you know oh, like yeah you just got me thinking fucking Jesus. yeah wasn't that also a situation where it was like I think they uh, there eventually was something like whenever you see the album art represented online, there's some sort of like silver looking thing. But I think if you get it in stores, it's just supposed to be clear. I have. Um, I'm going to find it because I have it down here. I actually did buy a copy of that. Remember when Ja Rule did an album cover that was supposed to be like reflective, like it's supposed to be like a mirror. It's like you're looking at you. It's like. Ja Rule, I, I, your music is not that deep. Like, is <laughs> You see me in your music. You see yourself. <laughs> the physical CD release I have in front of me is a completely clear case with the orange tape on the side that kept it shut. So it's just like a... Uh, is there stuff in the back? Is, is there like, uh, you know... There um... is a transparent sticker that has the... Uh, credits of the album. What? It's just a sticker? So it's not, like, actually encased in the back, like, in a, uh, you know... Nope. Sort of it's, back picture thing. It's a literal transparent sticker on the back of the case with the barcode and the FBI warning, but there is no CD inlay. There is no paper cover to speak of. Let's talk about minimalism. And the disc is also completely um, featureless. So... Very minimal, um, but what we got here just seems to be a, again, not exactly an original approach, because many right. people have done this now, the black... I think Lupe Fiasco did it a couple of years ago, actually. Did he? Yeah, because with the All-American Great Rap Album Part 2 or something like that, was like, oh. the one with the really long album title. Because, <laughs> I like, mean, come on. I know they say Metallica self-titled is the black album, but at least it has... A design it a snake, on it. It's it? just, yeah. it's very faint, and it, it also is black, so you have to, like, look at it in a certain light to kind of see it, but... I just have to start off with the one that, that, that got the conversation going. Got the old ball a-rolling. <laughs> Capadonna's Cap himself, uh, the Black Tarzan album that he had released this year. And it's, what is it, like, you gotta see it to believe it. Like, <laughs> Mr. Half Lion Face himself. Like, or is it, well, would it be, like, oh. two-thirds Lion Face? Because there's, like, more than half of the Lion Face on there, you know? Like, it's really weird. <laughs> it's so, you've got Capadonna kneeling down against a tree, and he's just got his hands kind of, like, just kind of laying out in front of him. Yeah, he's got on a wool sweater, it, it appears. Yeah, and, like, khaki pants, and he's got half his face is covered by a PNG cutout of... 
a lion's face, not yes. even really lined up, so like the nose isn't no, it's in the not same even like Yeah, it's not even like I guess the eye might be lined up with his eye, but the <laughs> mouth isn't, the nose isn't. Right. And the four corners are taken up by other cutouts of Yes. Uh a bear roaring. A bear, an eagle, uh, a lion, and then an elk. Yeah, just an elk s- sitting in the corner. <laughs> what gets lost in the shuffle here is the picture itself isn't the entire uh, oh, oh, right. four by three, one by one. What, we, what we've got here about at the size are just these gray what? bars yeah. because the picture doesn't take up the whole thing. So that oh. to me is the ugliest part, honestly. So when you see the bear at the top left, like it's not even blended into anything or anything like that. It's no. just like the bear head just cut off. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. I also don't know why it's. Maybe this is explained. Maybe this is an in thing. Why it's T A R R Z A N N. Oh, you don't you see the the Disney's Tarzan font there? They gotta they gotta you know make sure it's a uh, what seven tenths percent different or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> I just don't get his posture. Black here. Tarzan. Like, is that Black what they Tarzan. were going for? Yeah, that's... That's very ugly. That's <laughs> extremely <laughs> off-putting. It's unpleasant. And it, it doesn't even seem like it's committing to the... Fi- Black Tarzan, where's your loincloth? Where's the... <laughs> why, why aren't you swinging from a, from a vine or something like that? He doesn't... Uh, yeah, like, did, was this your idea? Yeah, he's like, just, like, bent down, like... He doesn't even, like, he's got a, 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 a comfy looking sweater on. Like, that's not what Tarzan yeah. fucking, no. <laughs> you know? And then, isn't that a redundancy in and of itself? Like, isn't Tarzan, the idea is like a, you know, uh, a, a white man amongst the deepest jungles of Africa. What a, you know, what a twist. But it's like, black Tarzan. <laughs> like, I, I mean, that would just be another black person in Africa, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, I like that originally... In, in my head canon, it starts with this photo, this really awful, awkward, posed photo. And they were like, cool, what's that? And he's like, oh, it's the album art. And they're like, that can't be the album art. That's, that's literally just you. That's like you bending down in front of a tree. That That's nothing. We can't do anything with that. <laughs> well, I got a nice watch on. Don't you see the golden watch? Uh, yeah, on. yeah, but you know, it needs something else. It needs a lot of something else. <laughs> something that shows you're fierce. Come on, we gotta, we gotta think. <laughs> Be- because when I think Capadonna, I think fierce. I think the lion. I think the real brute force. Yeah, fucking wild cab driver. Uh, out of all of them. What? He d- drove a cab for a little while and randomly brought it up in one of his raps. Capadonna. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I would have mm. if they if it would have been like a crazy taxi and like Cavadonna. Now oh, that's the way to sell that one. <laughs> Look, you've got ten <laughs> crazy minutes. Look, <laughs> if they fucking tied it into Crazy Taxi, then you might uh, you might be onto something. Well, fucking taxi driver, this. you know, fucking driver. Oh Niro. fuck! Oh my goodness, could have made a whole uh, thing of it. But black M- maybe man. more people are like me though, and they aren't aware of. His fucking past, um, his 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 career past, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the humble beginnings. Mm. Um, so so this is awful. But um, <laughs> the other thing you brought to my attention, I can't decide if it's worse. I think it. I think it's somehow on the same level of bad. Yeah. What? Sleepy Brown, uh-huh. and I already forgot what it was called. The Big Sleep is Over? <laughs> the Big Sleep is Over. <laughs> oh, thank God. Featuring... I, thought this... no, I thought it would never end. Yeah, it's Big Boy featuring Sleepy Brown. And ladies and gentlemen, and, and all in between, you, you, gotta, you gotta look this one up. <laughs> Big Sleep. I get it. That You know, dude, if they just would have called themselves The Big Sleep, because it's Big Boy... Right. That sleepy, that's not a bad uh, mm-hmm. name for your group. Not a bad team up. Not at all. Um, wait, are you sure? Okay, yeah, it is the wow. I typed in the big sleep is over. The first, 
uh, I'm going to say like seven or eight columns mm. are or rows are pictures of the Lord Bacall uh, Humphrey Bogart film, The Big right, Sleep. Right, right. And then we the finally classic. get a picture from uh, a music video, then the album art, oh. which if you thought that um, Ants, the movie with a, you know, with a Z, with mm. uh, with like the Woody ha- Woody uh, Woody Allen, Allen type yeah. character and all that and shit. And Rocky, uh, Sylvester Stallone and shit. Yeah, the weird if, looking ant faces. If you thought that looked like a cheap ripoff, dog shit of Bugs <laughs> Life, or and I know, well, actually, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but working at Circus City back in the day, we used to see these all the time. The super cheap animated DVDs that would oh, come out Lord. that looked enough like the movie they were trying to be to maybe fool a grandparent right. into buying it for a Christmas gift, but then they get it Mom and they Buster realize animation movies, yeah. And it looks like absolute shit. They did one for Ratatouille. I think they just called it like Rat Chef. Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. It's always that shit. Uh, this looks even worse than that. Yeah. Um, so, it, 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 yeah. in fact, it's the uh, 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 the ladybug. It looks like the ladybug from A Bug's Life. That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, personified as actual chicks, just sort of wa- stumbling around, maybe as if they're, I don't know, like hungover strippers, I guess. Of He's riding on top of, one of them is riding on top of one that's about to get smashed by a boot. Because a boot is coming yeah, down, and there's a bunch that's, of... Bunch that's of the just, only thing I like about this cover. Yeah, exactly. And this there's a bunch of oh, really face. high mosquitoes. Yeah, you took one picture of a fly or a mosquito, and then you used the exact same picture uh, seven times here. Yeah, and it's not done in a way that's kind of, like, funny or silly or in, like, a way that, that, you know, like, oh, you know, it's a silly idea to describe it, but that's a fun picture if you actually look at it. Like, no, no, it's the most basic version of that that you could imagine. So, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who is supposed to be who in this picture, but I guess I, it doesn't really matter. I think the guy at the bottom is supposed to be Sleepy Brown, because he's the, the bald-headed dude. And oh, okay. The, I at least get that he's bald-headed, and that looks like, that upper dude looks nothing like Big Boy. <laughs> he, that no, looks absolutely not nothing at all. like Big Boy. But I guess the closest thing to a joke here, besides the fact that it looks like Big Boy is about to get mercilessly uh, snuffed out by this giant fucking Timberland boot. Yeah, someone uh, who's making a, quite a big step, because like, where, <laughs> like, from where they are relative <laughs> to where a person would be standing, you know? like Doing that fucking John Lennon step out, like the big <laughs> ol' step. Yeah. Um... They're gonna come down hard on that fucking... There's a lot of gravity left. You know, there's a lot of space between, you know, hitting that ladybug and hitting the ground there. So, not only are you stepping on a, 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 a ladybug, not only are you stepping on Big Boy hitching a ride on said ladybug, but what's really, I think, supposed to be the the comedy here is you see Sleepy Brown has got the, uh, his, his got the scissors... Look at all these weed plants. Oh. So funny. The weed plants. Weed. You guys. He's, they got the nugs. They got the weed. And they are just amongst the weeds. It definitely looks like it was created by someone who was really high. I thought it was really good and then sent it off. And then realized how bad I'm all, I'm all fucking tired. <laughs> Even look at this. Inevitably realized how bad it was, but then, you know, it was already submitted. And so they went back to their weed nap. Yup. It's like, well, can't do anything about it now. Now, now, uh, I want to tell you uh, an opposite one. Someone who has good looking album covers, but then always disappoint. Uh, It's a recent one, too. Fucking Trippy Red. Like, oh my god, the Trippy Red album album? is always so good. Yeah, and we were like, oh my god, look at this album cover. This is incredible. I've never seen anyone put so much thought into it. And then you just listen, it was the Life's a Trip one, yeah. Yeah. And it was just like, "Uh, okay. And then I remember it was like a couple years later, I remember having a similar thing where some single had come out and it had a really good looking, like, single art art to it. And I was like, oh, let me listen to it. And then, like, not even 30 seconds in, I was like, 
I don't need to finish this. And then, like, yeah, it was just, like, just now, a couple of weeks ago, I was, like, looking at, like, you know, just trying to check out, like, the latest batch of, like, hip-hop songs come out or whatever. And then I saw, like, a really cool-looking one. It's like, ooh, I, like, wow, trip at night. Oh, my God, this looks insane with the moon and the dragon holding the eyes and the... Oh, wait, sugar. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> this Drake album, have you seen it? <laughs> Look up the cover to Drake's uh, Certified Lover Boy no, and tell me that's not one of the shittiest albums you've ever seen. Certified Lover Boy. Certified Lover Boy. I was going to bring up the Kanye West uh, album, The Life of Pablo, where he's oh. like, I remember seeing a whole bunch of cool concepts that were like rolling out and being like, oh, should I make it look like this? Should I make it look like, you know, these uh, metal barbed wire looking M's that maybe represent something? Should it be that? Oh, should it be the picture of my family? Should it be that? And then it's just like, I'm just going to go with the cover that asks whether or not I should go with It just says Life it's of like, Pablo over wow, and over, and over again, and it's just those two choice. photos. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's It's okay. But yeah, I don't love it. Yeah, randomly sta- like Have you it, seen Certified yeah. Lover Boy yet? I was um, gonna say I haven't heard your reaction yet, so I'm gonna say certified no. Certified Lover Boy. It'll be your lover, lover, lover boy. Uh, let me see. Let me think. Um, I, I'm not having a reaction yet, so I have it. No. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> it can't fucking be. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You motherfucker, Drake. No. No. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I get it. Embracing the meme. Right. Is that what he's doing here? You see, RC. Drake is not one to discriminate. Oh, God. Is he trying to get ahead of, like, other baby mama drama that's about to come out or something? Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> this can't be <laughs> This is immediately that album that is like, I can already see myself, like, in 20 years, doing the retrospective of, like, yeah, shitty album covers that look so dated now. <laughs> I can already see Pusha T. You are hiding 12 children. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. What was... I saw, like, a Lil Nas X joke of, like, him posting a picture of, like, a bunch of dudes looking pregnant. Yeah. And I just thought of that as just, like, a joke, like, in and of itself. I didn't think two ways about it. I just thought it was a ridiculous thing that he posted. And that, no, you've got to be kidding me. Lil Nas X is very funny and a very creative gentleman, but... Yeah, he, he didn't. He didn't come up with that on his own. Unfortunately, that was yeah. That's a parody of, of of this where you know this is like uh, uh you know watching not another teen movie and then going back and watching uh what was that movie that it turned out M Night Shyamalan had actually written uh whatever the fuck movie with ushers in it and it's like all you know it's uh I'm gonna choose the ugliest girl in school to go out to prom with and oh no a girl that's actually cute but just has like glasses on Whoa. is that She's all that? Yes, she's all that, mm. yes. With Usher Ravens randomly in it. He's like, everybody do the punch it. Do all the dances that I taught you. I'm the black guy in this movie, and I'm oh. going to teach you how to do everybody do the dances I taught you. Jeez, no, I, I never saw that. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. And it's always like watching not another teen movie and then going back and watching actually, like, she's all that and be like, oh, my God. Like, the, the thing that they were parroting was already so ridiculous in the first place. <laughs> so, for those who haven't looked it up yet, it's the pregnant woman emoji i'm but... still like i was still waiting for you to like tell me that it was something else because i was like it can't be no that that is it that is what they are uh that's what they're going with so um mm. let's get it <laughs> let's get these hate comments um oh that's man just how it's gonna be Donda, and it's Donda, how it's gonna be Donda. for the next while too because it, it doesn't just happen when we release an album review that week um over time people will find the old episodes and will leave comments on old episodes about how much we suck and <laughs> how wrong we were about mm. About albums. Uh, we're talking about the new fucking Kanye album, alright? We're doing it! God! 
You twisted our... I don't think anyone twisted our... Uh, <laughs> you twisted our digital arms. You, we weren't going to hear the end of it. <laughs> I think everyone just assumed we were going to because... Right, of course. Everybody's been fucking talking well. about and, it. You know, and I want to say this, like, because uh, just like we did with the last, uh, last time when we uh, uh, did one of his albums, I remember listening to the last album for, that we reviewed of his, and in that album review where we sorry i'm going kind of inception with how i'm trying to describe this yeah but in that last album review that i listened to we talked about how yeah we listened to the previous album just to make sure we're not like you know being biased or like you know what i'm saying like because he's a controversial figure and so it makes you want to feel like well you're either with the tide or get right you know what i'm saying like you're either oh so tired of this guy and so let's take him down you know or it's like well, I do kind of like his stuff, and then, you know, I don't know, you have to deal with the people that are like, fucking, how dare you like this person who's, you know, said right. shitty things, which he absolutely has. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Collectively, we've reviewed most of his discography by this point. I think yeah. we've done all but one of his original ones from the original yeah. run. I don't think we did. We didn't do College Dropout. Yeah, because I we haven't done. We did late registration. We did graduation. Right? We did life of Pablo. I we reviewed Jesus back in the day. We haven't done eight oh eights and heartbreaks. We both reviewed my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, and we did yay. Mm-hmm. And we haven't done kids see ghosts. Yep, that's mm-hmm. a collab album. We did. Uh, we did the uh, Jesus one too, didn't we? The, the yeah, last we did one? Jesus is King. Jesus is King. So, we don't shy away from this. Is it because we imagine everyone's going to want to see it because we kind of feel obligated to? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> Do we necessarily want to? No. Do we go <laughs> into this... What everyone's going to be talking about, you know? Do we go into this wanting to hate on him directly? No, because... Right, right. That's, that's the thing. I... I think I speak for both of us when I say we try to be as objective as possible with these. Mm-hmm. And Be- I yeah. didn't go in... The, 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 the only thing that soured my perception of this album was how long it was. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And for me, you know, I actually did try to stay away from, like, you know, just hearing too much chatter. Because, like, it, it is, like, at this point, you know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. are at this point in history where, like, so much is being being made hay of, you know, just the fact that it's happening and da 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 And so, like, other than, like, just making a couple jokes, I'm like, no, I'm not saying whether or not, like, oh, which wagger is good. My thing is always, like, well, my thumb's in the middle because I ain't heard shit yet. And I'm not trying to, like, duh. no, I'm waiting till I hear it, you know? Like, stop trying to push me into the hype machine. Like, you ain't even had a hot single off this shit yet. So, no, I'm not gonna, like, have, a, have any feeling towards it. You know what I mean? I think I saw one tweet by friend of the show uh, Kill Bill who tweeted their comment about like one or two of the tracks but was very uh, keeping it very close to the vest still and I didn't watch uh, any Melon content about this mm. um, It's th- this is it this was my first and only time with this album, because I'm just going to go ahead and say, without giving my opinion on it one way or another, I can't see myself ever listening to this album Guys, again. Guys, it's just Jesus is King again. Um. Even the songs <laughs> that I liked more than others, I can't see myself revisiting. It's like Jesus is King again in the way that, like, it's like, there is no evolution. These songs aren't, like... Mm. You know what I'm saying? What, like, I will argue with you on that. You know, I, and, and I'm honestly going to go back to what I'm saying, too, because, like, I, I will say that I did, I, go, going into this first, I will say that I did enjoy this more than Jesus is King. Oh, but, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah. But, like, topic-wise, it's, like, it's not, it's only marginally better in a couple of songs, but otherwise, it's just, I believe in the Lord and look at my watch on my wrist. You know, like, it's it's the same shit. It's just, like, Kanye, but, oh, he's not cursing. It, it, you know, he's not cursing, and he yeah. cuts out. But instead of just not cursing, he just cuts out the cursing that he already did, which is, like, it's so a waffly, like, half committed to, it's like, if you don't want to curse, then take it out. And then on top of that, it's also, like, the fucking, yeah, like, okay, I'm a changed man, and I so believe in God, but... I'm still gonna flex on the haters and talk about how I'm like have guest verses talking about how motherfuckers are you know busting off gats and killing people and it's like uh, 
So, like, is this just trying to do the 50-50 hybrid? Like, you know, because at least, like, my thing is, like, I, I, as I listened to this album, the only thing I kept coming away from was just, like, I'd rather just listen to Lecrae. Like, I'd rather just listen to Lecrae. Because he d- balances that, like, you know, I do want to talk about, like, being, you know, like, godly and, like, you know, being a fisher of men. And, you know what I'm saying? Bringing people into the right path. Not just to, like, be on the right team, but, you know, to make a better world. You know, because I do believe in da-da-da, these principles that Christianity is, you know, due to me. And then on top of that, like, you know, actually having real fucking songs that go into real life. And talk about shit like, like Gangland or something like that. And talking about, like, hey, these gangs really did start as, like, ways of protecting you know what i'm oh, saying yeah. like the neighborhood but it feels like the only way he knows how to liven it up is just by having letting the streets in you know and just letting the dude do the gutter track but we'll just cut out the naughty words afterwards it's just like what this is the most basic like again just the most basic like uh, interaction with you know his faith that it feels like we're getting because it feels like he's not really like evolving as a person beyond that now <laughs> going to like the musicality i do think it actually is really cool and a lot yeah. of it's upgraded and i think he has done well by getting a lot more features that has actually very much suited him on a lot of these tracks i would say yeah whenever there is a feature they almost always outshine kanye just about every time just literally every time. There's one feature on here that almost made my jaw drop. <laughs> when I, I was like, what? I, I never thought I'd see the day. Kanye, the, I would rather listen to this person than Kanye. Wow. The, <laughs> we'll get um, to it. The production is easily the best part of this album overall. Yes. yes. Um, and I will give you this, that there is an evolution. Not only is is Kanye talking about his his faith his spirituality not only is he flexing on the haters but he has to talk about how he's divorced now too oh man now we get yeah. that extra element of he needs to talk about kim on like three tracks and it's it always so awkward. awkward it's so yeah, awkward oh, man. and i it's so- like if it's therapeutic for you i guess but i don't i don't it's- need to hear it Personally, it's so, does it? It's so because it, it still feels like Kanye. It's so it like yeah. doesn't feel like someone who's like mature and going like, "Hey, maybe we've gone our separate ways." And like, but no, it's always like some niggling lyric about it, like, "But you still love me, though, right?" And you know, it, it's just like, Damn. oh, this he'll one. go back and forth between topics multiple times within a verse. He'll bring up Kim and he'll talk about how you know things have changed and how he's looking at things in a different light. And then later in the same verse, he'll go back to flexing and whatever, and it's like... And, oh, I got a new chick. Uh, I haven't even been a month away from her, and I got the new chick, <sighs> so, you know, I'm, I heard one or two lyrics, and it threw me off, because I was like, um, but good Christian boy who is not having a premarital sex, but... But now he's, he, oh, if I'm in the van, I'm with my only fans or some sort oh, of Jesus. sideways sex out there. Like, it's not even on no Tech 9 shit, again. Like, it, again, I like, I like throwing out these examples. Like, people who do, like, make songs about interactions with their faith, you know? It's like, it's not that you can't do it. It's not that you have to be a fucking right. choir boy in order to do Christian rap. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you can be real about it. And Kanye has been real about it before. I still go back to, like, Jesus Walks. I think it's one of the best fucking oh, songs he's made. Because yeah. it really is about his interaction with his faith and that all that stuff that's really interesting makes you want to care about it like i said back then when he made a song that was about like i need jesus you know and on these songs literally the most we get about it is i'm on the right uh, religious team and you need jesus and it's just like when we talked about life of pablo one of the opening tracks i think it might have been the first track you pointed out how it had the audio of the little girl just like yelling in right. church about whatever and yeah. you basically said that like like a child who is clearly just repeating what adults say and has no idea what they're actually talking about. Like, yeah. Kanye was basically displaying the same level of understanding. I mean, even on the fucking uh, Jesus is King, he was like, what? Back when I used to think Job was a job. Like, oh my god. All right. <laughs> like, but there's you, still you times on... All night of that one. <laughs> and there's still times on this album where he does shit like that. I have a oh, few... Man. It, it is downplayed, but it's definitely still fucking there. I have some parts highlighted. We'll get to them as we go. Um, mm. First of all, though... Yeah. I do want to shout out, and it's weird how albums seem to do this lately. My favorite songs on the album are all in a row... And it's one uh, segment of this album 
We'll see if you agree or not. Yeah. My four favorite cuts are Hurricane. Uh, oh, oh, absolutely. Fucking truthfully, yes. Uh, Praise God, the very next track. The hook was dope. Yes. That's the fucking thing. <laughs> the hook and the beat were dope. A song that got the highest rating, the next track, Jonah. Mm, I, I also... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, Okay, Okay. With, with uh, Yachty. That was half good. <laughs> those, those are the ones that got the highest ratings for me. The songs... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the songs that got the lowest ratings from me. Uh-huh. Back to back to back. 24. Hmm. Remote control. <laughs> and moon. Okay. Oh, I forgot. A- and uh and Donda, the fucking title track. I mean, other than other than Donda, but like interestingly enough, I actually like like I appreciated those songs for what they were. Like they were definitely wow. more basic songs. But wow, it was like, you know, it was. I'm not talking uh, about the Donda I mean? chant, by the way. I'm talking about the one that's like mostly. Audio. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. And yeah, then it and just we'll... ends with that really awful singing. Like I don't understand who thought that shit sounded good. Let Let's just go through this album because we got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's start out with Jail, a song that also got a very, very, very low rating from me. Um, <laughs> God damn. Oh my God. So yeah, after the Don to Chant. Yeah, which yeah. Like, which I honestly don't even hate that much. It's just like, oh, it's, you know, it's just It's just there. And, yeah, you know, like, I, I get it. You know, it's on some, uh, you know, Taoist shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, concentrating, you know, okay, getting into the moment. Um, and then, yeah, you get the first song, Jail, which is such a half song. Yeah. I, I kept being reminded of, like, what was that four or five seconds Rihanna oh, Paul McCartney four song? Four five like, seconds. Isn't it so epic that I got these two pop stars on here? But, I got Paul um, McCartney to play guitar, barely. Yeah, but it just, it doesn't pay off. And, and it's not even that song exactly. There's another song that I feel like he did. But it's just like, it feels like there's like this buildup that's kind of coming and it just never does. And you get the kind of drums at the end, but it does not feel worth it. <laughs> like, I felt like there should have been a guitar solo, and shit should have been ripping, and there should have been like a whole bunch more that happened, and it just kind of didn't. And then it was just like, oh, but isn't it cool that Jay-Z did a verse? And it's just like, I, I mean, I mean, okay. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> this, this is one of the worst Jay-Z verses. It's it's okay. Like, it's, God like, in my I, cell. I, that's my celly. Made oh in the image God. of God. That's a selfie. That's a selfie. Pray five times a day. So many felonies. Who's gonna pull my bail? Lord help me. Hold up, Donna. I'm with your baby when I touch back road. Told him stop all that red cap. We going home? Or did you? <laughs> Not me. With all these sins cast in stones, this might be the return of the throne. No, the fuck it ain't. Um. Oh my god. No, no, it's very much not. This is not Watch the Throne 2 by any stretch, mm-hmm. Jay. As soon as he said, made in God's image, that's a selfie. I fucking... Uh, my <laughs> yeah, eyes rolled out of my goddamn head. Um, <laughs> And it's also just one of those... It's, it's a Jay-Z verse that sounds like he doesn't give a shit. It's one of those phoned in. And, Jay-Z like, versus. And I really think it's because, like, I think it feels that way extra Lee because Jay-Z's really fucking bouncy, and this production is giving him nothing to bounce off of. You know? Like, if you listen to fucking Timbaland producing for Jay-Z, it's always fucking bouncy and very dense, you know what I'm saying? Like, but and, with this, it's just kind of like, like, all you have is just the open air and his punchline, and if it falls flat, it falls, you know? Like... And I liked, yeah, that's the issue. I liked the guitar chords hitting throughout the intro and everything. It definitely feels good. Yeah, it's clean as fuck, but it goes nowhere. The way Kanye is rap, singing, sing, rapping, I don't know what order. I'm going to jail tonight. I'm going to jail tonight. Chris is going to jail tonight. God, God, boss, my bad. And he just repeats it, that so fucking many times. It's so annoying. I didn't like that at all. Like, okay, it's about, like, jail, going to jail. But not over, like, you know, nothing, not, like, over, you know, political insurrection, you know what I'm saying? Anger's like, oh, because I got priors. You're fucking having a Mel Gibson night, and then, you know what I mean? Like, what is this? Like, what is this about? (laughs) This doesn't mean anything. Like, it's not even like, oh, I got pulled over, you know, because I was black by it. And it's like, no, no, this is, like, a legitimate reason. Like, someone, yeah, you had uh, recent things, and they're going to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it actually sounds like, oh, well, it seems like there is a reason, though, (laughs) you know? So... 
I feel like we need to do this because this is another very interesting thing this album does, where it includes remixes of four tracks from the album yeah, earlier. That is so whack. I'm I, sorry. Like this, this is padding. Calling it part two is not just because no. you, you literally kept everything but one verse changed. No, that's, and that's not. literally. <laughs> Especially when it comes down to um, Jesus Lord Part 2, where they just added three verses from the members of LOX. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, then why did we need the first one at all? If this is just that one, but longer, then I needed yeah. to hear that whole song twice. Yeah, and twice. it's just a fucking song. Yeah. Like, it's not like they're just like, oh, let's just have these dudes come in and, oh, isn't that cool? They're flowing over that beat and all. Oh, that's a cool extra thing. No, you have to hear the first, like, four minutes of worth of verses of the two first Which verses. Which is exactly the before. same. Yeah. And then you not just even add three beat, verses. Not, there's nothing different. They're not rapping it differently. It's the same thing. So, on Jail Part 2, the difference right. we got here, um, they took out the, in my opinion... Whack Jay Z verse mm. altogether. That shit's nowhere to be seen. But instead, we get a verse from the baby. The baby. Yeah. If it weren't mm. for that, for a pesky little thing called context, exactly. This would have been by far the best verse on the album. Exactly. But when you got motherfucker up there saying. Haters fucking Always mad at me. what I'm saying. Don't they know they're taking <laughs> my baby's food? Fuck oh, you. Fuck of. off. Dude, you had to you had to pause working on your latest song about how you bought a million dollar mansion uh, and uh, and put a million dollars uh, uh, worth uh, of mansion on your wrist in order to say, but 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 if you cancel me, then I won't be able to feed my kid. Get out of fuck here. Fuck off, the <laughs> baby. God damn it. No one's trying to hear that. <laughs> and just the way he like slowed it down too. Like he had this really uh, swift verse going, but then he had to slow it down for a second. Don't you realize what you're doing? Who's the real monster uh, here? The person making, uh, you know, jokes about gay people having AIDS or the person who pointed out my behavior? Hmm. Think uh, at the risk of sounding like an after school special, I think we found out who the real monster is. Now, now come on back and buy some of these out. Let, let me get on some of these uh, tours again. You know, I like that this album has dropped the exact same week. The news that DaBaby had to sit down with like HIV groups and have like, oh. have you heard about that? I thought you were going to bring up that, like, uh, the baby said, uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was going to vote for you, Kanye, if you ran. I, th I thought you were going to Oh, bring up Jesus. That. <laughs> no. He sat down with nine organizations. Clearly, what I said wasn't a big deal, and you should forget it and <laughs> let my baby eat. <laughs> like, okay. The, the, the timing is what makes me laugh, is the thing. That this was, mm. that this dropped yesterday, and <laughs> Got the fucking we got his uh, the baby verse now, but let See, us but not. Here's the thing. It's, it's all about the framing and the focus, right? Like the verse yeah. isn't about you know I said something shitty and like hey man let 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 me move forward and move on and in the lyrics talk about how like you know and maybe I learned from that. No, it's about how pity me. Yeah. people came down too hard on the millionaire who did, you know like that's what makes it like it's kind of it's the no accountability hard, bullshit, you know. Because we know what this is clearly about framing it as instead of, like, about growing, you know? And it's, like, it's that thing where it's, like, shouldn't you feel bad for, for judging me and throwing the first stone? But it's, like, uh. ah, what you said was shitty in the first place. And, like I said, if you have girlfriend, that's cool. But, like, and, and that's cool if in real life you, you did that, you know? But what you laid out on your music was this pretty party of a verse, you know? And on top of that, which is also kind of what got news circulating was the very interesting choice to not only have the baby who is in the news for his gross homophobic uh misinformation about hiv and aids comments but we also got violent sexual abuser marilyn manson on the track marilyn manson for some reason doing Wait, something nothing. i'm told <laughs> nothing he does nothing <laughs> according to genius he's on this track i guess he's just yelling along with the chorus Oh, yeah, you needed that Marilyn Manson fucking charm. Oh, he really what? added that edge the song needed. Like, the fuck? That was so unnecessary. 
they're not even really doing that. Like the song isn't about forgiveness. Or and that was the thing that I brought up. Oh my God, there's a track on here with Chris Brown. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, we're just ticking all those boxes, folks. This is the the repentant, uh, fucking, the forgiveness, like everybody aboard the forgiveness train. I was so fucking bored by that track. <laughs> I mean, it at least started out interesting enough. <laughs> they all do, man. Like, yeah. all these songs begin with attention-grabbing instrumentals or a beat or a sample, something, and then it immediately fucking pisses the bed. Like, the intro on God, on, uh, God Breathed, I thought the intro mm. hooked me immediately. Yeah, and I was you like, know okay, what? Yeah, let's go back to the album. Right, right, right. The, the instrumental is minimal, but it was okay. But Kanye's... Has the Gregorian chant, you know. His... This was, I think, the most off-putting thing about the album to me, and I'm sure you noticed it too. Mm. Is Kanye would, every so often, just fall into just kind of barely mumbling his words. Yeah, and it would be like what? a thing where, like, even though he has auto-tune on his voice, he still sounds like he, like, needs to fucking clear his throat and drink some water. Well, you know what I mean? Like, like he's like, just talking and all of a sudden he's just kind of... Yeah, and so it's like, yeah. What? Uh, like, he would what? just start slurring shit and he's like, yeah, like, guess who's going to jam and that? And it just happens so much. It would just be like, why are you doing... I, I thought the, the point was that you worked on this for hours and weeks and months on end. Yeah, that's the thing. It still sounds slapdashed. <laughs> like, you had people waiting. You were the Phantom of the Paradise. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> in the back of those fucking stadiums. Swan set me up! And <laughs> you were fucking back there with your goddamn mask and razor teeth for weeks. Being like, nah, nah, it ain't done yet. Nah, it ain't, it ain't perfect <laughs> no, yet. Absolutely. And this is still what we end up getting. I had this quoted, by the way, as another eye roll moment from Kanye. More than I can say for you, before the sons and daughters, before the sun and the water. More than I can say for you, but the truth is still for you. Once I saw what the Lord do, God, the Son, all the glory. God, the Father, like Maury. Oh my God. Oh! oh, 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 oh. And, and my brain was like... Did he not already use that line? Are we sure he hasn't? Like, he has to have used that he on the first He had to thing. have. Yeah. This was this album's, uh... What was that goddamn Chick-fil-A joke? He oh, <laughs> used on Jesus is King. Yeah, and that's why this album is better. It doesn't have songs like fucking Chick-fil-A on it. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. It's fucking no oh, Chick-fil-A Lord, on Sunday, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, these fucking lyrics, there's another one for you. Uh, trust man, he a failure. Trust in God a hell you. Dustin, he a Hoffman. Oh. Don't fuck I, what they all I heard that, and I didn't quote it because I honestly had no idea what he was trying to say with that. <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? Dustin, he a Hoffman? <laughs> What's a Hoffman? <laughs> I don't know. Sid Hoff Frenchman? What are you talking about, I Kanye? Don't know. <laughs> And then someone else, I think it's Vori. Vori, yeah. This, this album a lot. And I like, actually so, kind of like Vori sometimes. Like, he's okay. Like, he's fine. But it's not like, like, if Kanye was just saying these lyrics and said, it, you know, that would be fine, too. You know, like, like why is he here so much? Like, is this the ghost face killer to your Raekwon? Is he the such a different energy that, you know, like... Oh no! This isn't like an auto-tuned rap verse uh, about generic things about you know making it through because God's on your side. This is another auto-tuned generic rap verse about making it through. You know what I mean? Like, what's the difference in energy, really? You know? Yeah. Like, he he kind of goes back and forth between the religious shit and the uh not even necessarily the brag rap shit, but the energy of quote yeah, old it's Kanye. Like it's not committed enough to be brag rap. There's not enough like heart put into the 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 braggery into the punchlines and yeah. shit. Like Junior Watanabe Yamari. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, the Christian rapper is making a song about how he's spending man. millions or so dollars on a designer watch. What what is going on here? And, and, like, if this was a mega church preacher, we would be fucking laughing at this. Like, we would be seeing right through this, right? Like, please tell me people are falling for this still. Like, what is going on here? We'll get to Junior. <laughs> and subsequently, Junior part two. Oh, yeah, two. Let, let's first get to uh, Off oh, the Grid. Off the fucking grid. Oh, my God. Okay. Again, another dope beat, because this album's full of those. Right. Um, I'll say... 
I can't stand Cardi shouting, but that's just me. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh my lord! The Cardi, you, I almost fucking forgot. Playboy Cardi, oh. his fucking couldn't even be fucking arsed to take off his goddamn chains before he recorded. They're all up on the fucking microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Slides. It was the most annoying thing. It's like, dude, like <laughs> sounded really bad, but it's nothing compared to we off the grid, grid, grid. This for my kid, kid, kid. Oh, Everything goodness. we do for the crib did here. Flexing with the business trip. Going cray. Take some G6. Lit, lit, 76. We spit this. We off the grid, 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 grid. And then a, in my opinion, way too long 504 in verse. I thought it was the highlight of the song, honestly, though. Like, I it was thought it was okay, but I just bars, thought it went on you know? for fucking too long for what it was. Mm. Um, but then Connie has to bring it back down with, uh, with the outro. He actually does, he brings it up, he brings it back up with a better, quicker paced verse, I thought, than his fucking first one. But he mm. still has to end it with, look what we did, 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 pray for the crib, crib, crib. Some say, a a Adam could never be black a ack What? Mm. Because a black man never shares his rib, 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 rib. Oh, God. But, um, Get it? Because the food, too. Oh, you see. Oh, you ended on a fucking chitlin circuit joke. Like, uh, <laughs> what an embarrassment that what comes next is the incredible fucking soft storm vocali vocalisms the weekend. of the weekend. Yes. Oh my lord, I was insulted. Like I would <laughs> like if I was the weekend about to sing this fucking song, about to sing my heart out, like I would be just about to start and then hear him just be like, wait, what? No, you can't end that can't be my end. Like that's not do something else. Like <laughs> I thought Hurricane was, in my opinion, the first legitimately good song of the album. Yes. Hurricane was like a fucking single. Solid verse from Lil oh, Baby. Oh, lord. I think everyone pulled their weight on that one. I thought that one was really good. Yeah. Lil, Lil Baby wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Praise God was the Travis Scott track. We got Baby Keem. The way they were saying things was just odd for some reason. Like Their shit is what ruined the song for me. It, it would have gotten a higher rating if it wasn't for... This weird high pitch singing. The way the, the hook starts was like, you know, praise our way at the great dog living, speaking, praise God. Da -da 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 -da. Like that kind of flow coming out, like that sounds really cool, but they're not doing any really cool. Like, you know, you don't even have to be that deep. I just want to hear some, like, let me hear some cool, intense imagery. You know what I mean? Like, oh, the, the, the glorious golden gates of God rising up through the arches. Like, let me just hear something like that. Like, uh, just. I don't know, just some epicness, just something. It's just all of these verses are either just generic shit about how you're, you know, got lean and all this sort of shit, or it's like, God's on our side, and so it's cool that we're spending all this money and got lean and all this shit. It's just like, it's nothing. This is not, like, it's so insane how boring this album has made, how being Christian rap has, like, blandinized his sound. You know, like, all of the albums before this, like, they have, sure, they're still, like, commercial in some aspect, right? Like, but it's still, like, but this sounds no, di like, uh, different than the average shit on the radio, right? Like, a lot of these tracks, they just kind of sound like, like, oh, they put some o organ, like, alright, that's really cool, but it's like, but these verses aren't really about anything. It's not like he was like, hey, man, let's come in and let's actually write some, like, inspirational verses about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, times that we've been inspired and da-da-da. There's maybe one or two people that do that. I think, like, Conway at one point talks about how, like, ho holy God, like, I was in, like, an accident and, like, I, you know, couldn't have survived and my mom was praying for me and da-da-da. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. No one else does that. Yeah, I'm shaking the drop. I'm still up on top. I've been had the bop. The devil my up. Can't pay me to stop. My God at the top. Like... If this was someone who was not Travis Scott, like, turn on the Christian rap station, here's some Christian rappers, oh, are you, are you tempted to keep here, listening for eight more bars? Are ya? You know, like, no, this is nothing. And then Baby Keem, what a fucking waste. I'm pretty sure, like, 16 bars is just him just going like, yeah, 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 Tim and Paula, uh, Tim and Paula, he outside, and I said outside, uh, I said outside, I said, huh, let's get it, yeah, yeah, let's get it, huh, 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 let's get it, yeah, whoa, let's get it, what, what, I'm like, what's, 
What's going on? Yeah, like I said, I don't remember much about Jonah. I remember liking it in the moment. Like, it's a nice beat. It has a really nice, like, fucking... You feel like you're within the waters of how, like, you know, the fucking beat sounds with the very, like, soft, muted, like, bump in the drums and all that sort of stuff. But it just means nothing. Hard to keep my focus on what matters. Man, it hit my line like, some just hit my... Uh, just hit, got hit up on your block. You can rest assured, it's not us. So, first of all, I just wanted to get your enjoyment of the awkwardness that keeps happening with these lines being cut off, and it happens a lot with rappers who are especially explicit, and it gets really annoying, and there's no uncensored version. I, I don't know I, why anyone would want someone to have this experience. Just tell them to not curse. But I anyway. Feel like, <laughs> I feel like either you recorded these before you put the hammer down about cursing, because I imagine that, that would have had to have been a very annoying conversation to have every time you got a fucking verse submitted, and you heard yeah. it like... Yeah. What did I you tell you to about the cursing? Get to watch right. it. Or put Captain America over here. <laughs> or like put an interesting sound or something. Right. Right. So it's not just so it doesn't Jarring. just dip out entirely. Yeah. Have the something is, there. It's on Kanye West versus two, so it's not yeah, like what it's the like, fuck? What were you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I was like so. <laughs> <laughs> did nobody fucking take a stand and say shit to Kanye? Like, how did that work? I like, I don't know. Just, on the, just from a very basic aesthetic, like, off the rip thing here, there's just no commitment. Hard to keep my focus on what matters. Man, it hit my block like, some just got hit up on your block. You can rest assured, it's not us. The way he said that, that first verse, is just so jarring and just misplaced. And then, again, like, it sounds this very serious beat, but it's just like, oh, man, heard s some dude just got hit up on your block. But it wasn't us, because we're so cool and untouchable. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so it's not a serious song about, like, you know, things having any weight with, you know, the words that you're saying in these lyrics. It's just, uh, no, it's just another bragging song about how we're all cool and awesome. Okay, okay. That's a track we're going to get twice, so we can knock this one out. Easy. <laughs> um, Fucking, just him saying in the middle, or at the end of it, uh, after all these verses that have absolutely nothing to do with God and are mostly about flexing and all this shit, find God for it's too late. Uh, uh, oh, now, this is the one thing where I will say, Lil Yachty had a dope-ass verse. Man. And <laughs> I don't know Look, how to feel about it. <laughs> I was wondering where... Whose verse you were gonna say was the fucking standout? Because it could have easily been to baby too if it wasn't for the for that pesky context. But mm. Yachty did okay. I thought Vori did yeah. okay. But yeah, that is a thing where, and the, here is where I imagine. I don't want to speak for you. I'm gonna want to get your input on this. This is where it might have been a bit of a toss up for you because you are bigger into the the Jamaican the island feel than I am. How did you feel about Yachty's verse being completely replaced by oh, uh, Shensia? I actually did not like it that much. It, it felt overly long for not yeah. as much being said in there. Like, she has a cool voice, and, like, I like her, like, you know, her diction on the words that make you really feel it, but it's what not was she really talking worth about? it, ultimately. Yeah. It felt like it was going in so many different directions that, it, like, it didn't feel like it was necessarily for that song like it, it didn't feel not. like it fit no and and fucking like Lil Yachty, like he actually had a fucking flow on this too this shit sounded fucking cold like uh, all of the uh, uh, like all the other shit i've heard from him sounds like he's like oh call like brother right, soda let me do the wacky da, da, da. And like i and uh, it does not get to me at all but when he did this where he like fucking like hunker down and like sounded like fucking cold breeze as he's saying these fucking lyrics where he's like have him having my hands around the neck grip it tight like a noose tell you a story with a bad ending because i'm not a seuss pass him around blank to the thugs for an immunity boost double cup filled to the top with the serenity juice moment of silence r.i.p to juice if they say it's up it's up i don't need a truce i was like holy shit like yo i was feeling that shit yeah Again, it has nothing to do with God. <laughs> Whatever. It has nothing to do with, Can I say also, nothing to do with Donda? I was trying to figure out what the point of this whole thing being a tribute to his mom, which is, you know, I'm not going to say anything on that. If you wanted to do that and that was your point, that was your goal from the beginning, that's fine. That's respectable. How you decide to do it is completely up to you. It's your project. Junior Watanabe on your re. So glad we got that. 
again for another part two that we needed that again absolutely but unnecessary and with what a Ty dollar sign verse oh you thanks. get Ty dollar sign um and, and then, more uh, cardi sudden, we took over let me get the what, what's a jangling thing that i can like you know put, put in your face so that you can uh Hear the algorithm. Let us go. Let us go. What is up? What is up? Like, oh my god. Guys, take off your fucking chains. I'm trying to see if I gave a higher rating to any of the remixes than I did the original. I gave an, an, a whole extra point higher to Jesus is Lord Part 2 over the original minus the uh, locks verses. I thought they uh, added okay. a lot to that one. Yeah, um, yeah. Even um, though it was especially insulting that that song was over 11 minutes long and I already had to sit through a four minute version of it, that stung a little bit. Right? That was annoying. Um, I did also give Jail Part 2. I, I rated Jail Part 2 twice as. A, I rated that a three over the original's one and a half, so it got <laughs> twice as high of a rating than, than the original one. Yeah, no, I see it, because again, the baby has more energy, and he's like making up for the openness with more happening, you know what I'm saying? But OK OK mm. and Junia, those both got lower ratings than the originals. I did not need the remixes on those. Yeah, dude, just oh. useless, and it just goes on. And it's like, who is this? Like, I don't understand. And then, what would the one lyrics is like, See more comments. Mm -mm. Then I see commas. Mm -mm. They going dummy. Mm -mm. We going Donda. Mm -mm. Oh, we're going Donda. What? Twenty four was was <clears throat> okay with me. I thought it was like it was a nice you know drone track. You know, like all right, you know, you just want to have. I mean, again, it was kind of awkward and didn't feel it, these. A lot of these tracks don't sound like the tracks of someone who's been working on this album for a long time, they sound like there's still lots of little points where it's just like, okay, that doesn't sound fully mixed into the thing, that doesn't sound fully mastered, you know? But, like, when it just kind of gets to the point where it's just the drone of, like, God's not finished, and the really big, like, ham organ, like, I, I can enjoy that for what it was. I thought that sounded really, you know, solid, you know what I mean? I think tracks like Jesus Lord, I know we're getting, I'm skipping ahead, but where it's, like, beating you over the head, like, I don't mind... If a song is like religious or spiritual about, you know, whatever, but it's the songs that kind of beat you over the head with like barely a message. Yeah, you already said this and more over a decade and a half ago with uh, Jesus Walks. So what do we need these songs for? 24. And believe what I say, I have I, I actually just copied and pasted it. Love the production beats and the samples. But then the verses were like nothing special. But 24 specifically, that was the one where I have written down that Kanye is practically uh, tripping over his own words. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Earlier in the song. Yeah, I, no, I like the choir part more. That, that's what I enjoyed of this. Yeah. I, man, I'm not here for just, we gonna be okay, repeated ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah. Like, you gotta give me something more. Like, especially because it felt like, it didn't even feel like they were saying it. it. It seriously felt like they just copied and pasted the sound file. Like, it didn't sound like they were saying it over and over again. It sounded like they said it once, and they just copied it. Wasn't it earlier? No, because like earlier in the song, it specifically sounds like there's a weird filter on it that makes it sound weird. So yeah, Maybe. That earlier on, it sounds specifically like, yeah, it's not the whole thing. But then later on, like, it sounds like people are like closer to the mic when they're saying it. So it oh, feels yeah. like it's it's more takes going on, you know? It, it, it's just a weird, yeah, it's a it's not a fully enjoyable experience, but like, I, I, I could at least enjoy like just that, like, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, that, that hits me in the old time religion feels that part. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can give it up for that aesthetic, you know? And then you get the next track, Remote Control. Which that got the just, lowest rating for me. It, but that at least had, like, a, a cool-ass fucking beat with it, which is like, what are we... Like, okay, are we going futuristic here? And then, no, not really. But it's, like, this thing... Like, it's the one that has the thing that feels closest to an idea of, like, a concept. Like, oh, remote control. We got it all on remote control. <laughs> yeah. But then he, he still doesn't go anywhere with it. Oh, this is the one where he says, please don't ask who's up in the van. They my only fans. Yeah, man of the Lord. Yeah, I was in my hovercraft. Had another laugh. How you roll with them when you know I'm him? Yeah, Mr. No Premarital Sex when working on my album. Here's a question I have for you, because this was the only song I actually didn't listen to the whole way through. I, I fucking bailed. I didn't make it to uh, to Young Thug's verse. Did I miss anything? 
Um, actually, a little bit. Uh, was it actually Young all right? Dog was interesting. It, again, it's the same like with all things where it's just like, oh, to start off, it's right. There's even like a part where like his voice gets fully metalized and like for like two bars and does this extra thing. You're like, oh, what was that about? Like, what is that? But then like all of these verses, like all Young Thug verses, they start off really interesting and they just kind of peter out as they go on. So like, you know, you, you could have stayed for an extra 15 seconds, I guess, but. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've kind of went back and forth about Young Thug and that his features tend to be okay. Yeah. Like there I he doesn't sound like anyone else would rap the way he's rapping and that is cool, but then there's still no like he doesn't bring it home. You know what I mean? Like I don't really have anything to say about Moon cuz it's just basically like an instrumental a, a track Cuddy to me. Solo track. Yeah. But Heaven and Hell really annoyingly high singing on the intro and hold up no peace hold up police don't call police just stay folk east oh <laughs> that, ma- that makes the stomach turn right there folk oh. east. Oh, come on ah. man. <laughs> You know it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Just stay focused. Like you can tell he like you can see him in the studio making a face when he says it like uh, that's that's nothing. <laughs> oh, they say he raps with so much emphasis. Muse, I think you just too sensitive. <laughs> oh, this is actually what I have written down. We're really into the whole who gives a shit stretch of the album, and I'm over <laughs> it. And the thing about it is, like, this song had, like, it had a hype, like, feelness to the verse that was happening, where I was actually kind of, like, feeling it. But again, it was the thing where it's like, when I went back the second time, I was just like, yeah, this is really didn't say anything, though. Like, <laughs> like, it's called fucking Heaven and Hell. It has nothing to do with Heaven and Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and 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 if it does, it's again on that surface level, not saying anything. Yeah, like and like I said, I enjoy the energy of the track. It's not that I hate it, but it's just like there is nothing to go back to. Like when it got to end, like I remember the first time hearing the uh, hearing the track, and just when it gets through everything, and then he goes like, "Let it gra, gra, gra. I was like, I was actually kind of, I, I was feeling it. I, was I like, couldn't stand uh, when he fucking just went off. I wasn't digging that. It, but then, like, it's upon hearing it the second time, it just kind of going like. Yeah, with it. Yeah, we didn't even. It's not even worth the build up that we got here. So the energy release is a kind of worth it when you're actually hearing what he's saying. Like he's talking about religion, like oh, people need Jesus or whatever. It's just like okay, why though? And yeah. like I feel like I feel like there's a reason he doesn't. Because while I was listening to this and while he was fucking up on his fucking pulpit, I remembered that this motherfucker and and Sunday service performed and headlined a like a festival or some type of outing that was like peppered with these staunchly anti LGBTQ organizations Whoa. and Kanye when he was even talking about his fucking uh, presidential platform I think I'm vaguely remembering this yeah wasn't it like a video he did like we need to focus more on the family like that type of you know language you know it's that it's vague on purpose and I think that's why the album is vague because if he were to actually go into his beliefs, I feel like it would be some very serious cancel material. Yeah. So the men should only be with women. Uh, yeah, right. Like, let's keep it as vague as possible. Single mothers are the devil. People that get it get it. Like, I think that's 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 kind of what he assumes there. Yeah. Oh my god. How about West Side Gun and Conway the Machine? On Keep My Spirit Alive. Well, I, I first wanted to bring up the, the skit that came before, the Donda skit, where it was just I like, almost didn't count it, but I did because it started having an awful singing on it. So I was like, well, <laughs> it counts now. I didn't count it. It was just like a blight on the album to just be like, okay, like, because, I, you know, first listening to it, I'm like, I'm with him to be like, oh, this is dedicated to his mother. And, oh, his mom speaks. Like, what's his mom saying? Like, and it's- now listen to my mother. <laughs> now listen to me, you know, clipping this quote to tell you to listen to my mother say how awesome I am. Ah! It's like, oh, my God, Kanye. No! Like, Jesus. Like, oh, God. That's, dude. that's like Justin Bieber sampling <laughs> that Martin Luther King Jr. clip to sound like he's almost talking about him. Like, I can't okay. 
Yeah, I absolutely fucking got that too. I'm glad we're on the same page about that. Where it yeah. absolutely is 100%. Here's my mom talking about how awesome I am and how people need to listen to me and how yeah. I'm just so misunderstood, you guys. My mom got it. Like, yeah. you were rocking oh, with her earlier when I had the samples and this is attributed to her. So, like, what are you going to do? Argue with my mom that passed away? Oh, you, oh. you know, this album's for her, you know. Oh, you can't man. go is against he, that. It's like, is he going to have a music video where, where uh, his mom and uh, Kim Kardashian's dead father do, do, do introduce his uh, fucking concert? Are they going to do that? No, no, no. Since we're going to fucking disrespect people and, and use their fucking word and manipulate their words to talk about how great he is. Because he did that with Kim's uh, father, too. Remember that? Remember that? It was like a whole thing of this really creepy thing where he hired someone and paid someone $100,000. Here's a special birthday present to you. Your dad talking... Uh, yeah, and there, and there was like one point where it was like, and your uh, your husband, who has made incredible, incredible music. It's just like, he literally didn't say that. That's you manipulating her dad's voice to say, and your husband is awesome. Like, oh my God. And, and like, you know, he's not manipulating her words, but like specifically clipping this here to say, oh, not, not anything about like, you know, being a good person or, you know, follow God and this will lead you to, no, listen to my son. He's awesome. That's the exact word I was going to use was man manipulative. That That's exactly yeah. how it came off. Even if you didn't edit the the audio at all, its intent and its purpose feels very, very manipulative and creepy and weird. Yeah. And I don't like it. The next track I was mentioning before... Keep is My Spirit Alive. Yeah, yeah. It's full of mediocrity, in my opinion. I have written down <laughs> meh verse from West Side Gun. Real nothing verse from Conway the Machine. I thought Conway was okay. It was like about something, you know? Talking about being in a hospital when he got shot, you know? like it, I thought it, Kanye's verse was the best out of all of them, but mm. it's still, like I have written down, is not without its groaners. If you don't turn to a little gaudy, they gonna drain your strength in your little body. They turn me into a little gaudy. Oh, uh, yeah. Not Wakanda, but Wakanda is kind of like what we about to make, and who gonna make it? Khan, duh! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no! all in the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Khan, duh! Now listen to this nine-minute track where I talk about how everyone needs Jesus! Lord Jesus! Oh, oh but I, I wanted to bring it real quick and then keep my spirit alive. The fucking yes. first dude rapping. It's like the first thing, he, one of the first things is like, 100 round drum didn't jam when my shooter tried to spray it. Thank God. Yes, thank God I was able to dispatch hundreds of black men. Like, oh, <laughs> like, oh God. thank God. Oh, oh well, one lyric, my homie dropping bodies for no reason. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah! Awesome! Oh, yeah, praise Jesus in the name of Jesus. Like, <laughs> what is this? Now, I've got some very mixed feelings about Jesus, Lord. Um, like, so, you know... <laughs> how do you feel about Jesus, Lord? I think it is a definitely a very bloated track that yeah. has some really cool, like, lyrics in here. Um, you know, and, and I do actually like the... Jesus! Like, I like no, I the vulnerability of how it sounds. Like, I know it doesn't sound great, but there's something about, like, the committal to it that I like. You know I just I mean? think they did it way too much. Yeah, they oh, committed sure. too hard to Again, that bit. It's bloated. It's, this is a bloated fucking track. Um, I mean, you've got, the, you've got the Kanye part, then you've mm -hmm. got the... J. Electronica part, oh, who Jay is... Oh, like, uh, Harmonica, Ronica. There's always some weird thing he throws at... J. Elec Entendronica. J. Electronica, who is no stranger to dropping disappointing albums after <laughs> long-awaited oh. build-up. Oh, I man. actually thought his verse was all right. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought his verse was, like, the solid one. Um, but, like, fucking... What, again, the censorship... Like, uh, Kanye yeah. goes, like, moving to the hood was like signing up for the army because they've been killing, just was watching Barney. <laughs> and it's just so awkward <laughs> to have that edit. To, they was killing, just was watching Barney. <laughs> but the third segment of it, which is its own fuck thing here, yeah, is uh, Larry Hoover Jr., who Kanye pleaded 
unsuccessfully, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. Uh, to get Trump to grant them uh, clemency. And Larry is talking about, again, how great of a guy Kanye is. Mm. And this is, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. I don't like how often Kanye and his friends reference Kanye going to the Oval Office and talking like him talking about granting clemency and getting people pardons was like the only thing he did during his whole Make America Great Again Yeah, the crusade. only reason why he did this was... That was uh, it. Yeah, why he messed with Trump. Is it? Right. No, it's because he's an egotist and he saw a lot in him and maybe he doesn't agree with all his policies, but like Trump, he's also a carman who doesn't really believe in his policies either. So yeah, this is all funky-ass behavior that I'm sorry, I'm going to question. And like, <laughs> and like, we're not even going to talk about how he wasted everyone's time and money during the election trying to run himself. Yeah. Like, we're just going to ignore that happened too. Yeah, you could have used that money for helping some people <sighs> out, some block, you know, helping uh, with block the box and things of that nature. What You know... But it's one of those things, like, it's a nice gesture for that one individual person, and, like, that is cool for them that you're helping, but, like, you know, the whole thing of these people doing pardons at the end of presidencies belies what the issue is in the first place, which is, like, they're not actually solving the bigger systemic problems, they're doing these things that, like, look, because, look, Obama did the same thing, like, pardoned, like, 200, like, something, like, criminals at the end of his, uh, at the end of his thing, it's like, yeah, but he didn't make systemic changes that makes this an issue in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And so it's like, it is nice for those individual people. And, you know, there's an element of this where I was thinking, like, I feel like this album actually does probably work better in a live concert setting, which is probably why he was doing, like, those live concert settings and, you know, getting that live reaction and that good feeling, right? Like, you know, like, hey, everyone's reacting to it. And I think, like, yeah, when you have a whole bunch of songs that are just basically about nothing, but kind of have some hype beat work to them, and then have the one shining moment that's saying, and look at this great thing that he did. You know, like, I feel like that works a lot better at a live show where you're just going to, like, you know what I'm saying? See the show, and then, like, oh, wow, there's a glorious moment there, and then, like, it's all about the whole experience. But, like, yeah, when you're just listening to this album, and it's like, okay, you did one song where it sounded like you kind of, like, practice what you preach, and then everything else is, Junior Watanabe Amairi, you know? Yeah. So it's like... Okay, it really kind of more than balances itself out, really. So I'm kind of back to not really like thinking it really matters because you know it feels like it's just on some Bill Gates shit where it's just like you you did, you know you're a fucking six point six billionaire or whatever motherfucker and oh you did this nice pittance for one person and uh, it, it shouldn't that wash upon me all this praise you know for being such a nice guy and, and I specifically needed to make sure you knew about this too I specifically put this on this album to make sure you knew yep. that that was what I was doing uh, so that you can know where to send the praise to uh, you know <laughs> he does this again on Pure Soul it comes up again the talking to Trump going to the White House and all that. That was another one where it was like, either they mentioned the White House or the Oval Office or something, and it was just like, okay. But I skipped a couple before we even got to that one. Um, yeah, um... Tell the Vision this... Uh, it's got like this weird sounding pop smoke Dude, verse. It's literally, they just took one of his verses where, you know how sometimes when you record something and then like the background it'll pick up stuff but you don't hear it when oh, it's yeah. like when the song's finished. So that's literally what they did. They literally just played a fucking scratch track where you could hear all the fucking background things. So it's the oh. most cheap fucking thing ever. And like, dude, I, yeah. I scroll down. Even all the, the, the Kanye stands that, you know, when you go down on Genius and they're always hyping it up, you know, doing the SpongeBob on fire emojis. You know what mm. I'm saying? Even on this one, they were like, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And it's on this very minimal, barely anything piano beat. Like, Yeah, the only thing that's happening is the piano really loudly. Pure Soul was another song where he was just kind of mumbling, and yeah, I just wasn't right, feeling it. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, this, this is the one where he mentions the shit. For all the guys that went to the White House, and he has such an awkward flow on this, and said, free the old man, every day I put my life on the line to feed the whole clan. And then... Personal worth is not what a person is worth. I could give a dollar to every person on earth. Man, it's got to be God's plan. Man, I swear these boys keep playing. Uh, mm. And then what? as soon as you say this, like, yeah, you could give a dollar. Yeah. You could be doing a lot more. You know, you're specifically making me think about that. Like, yeah, why would you even say that? <laughs> yeah, <not laughs> 
You could have not even said that. Like, here's my thing. Michael Jackson has made lots of songs about how you should give and all that sort of stuff. And, mm. you know, like, I can enjoy those songs because of those songs, he didn't also go like, and also I've got a multi-million dollar mansion with a fucking, you know, exactly. uh, theme park in the back. Like, yeah, I know you've got that. Just don't bring it up right now. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm aware of that. I know that's a reality, <laughs> but you don't need to draw my attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> um... Again, feels like it goes nowhere. It has like an idea for a concept. Something about like, hey, maybe if you wrote down things in pen instead of pencil, they would come to life. I, something to that effect. Uh, and then he says like, I brought a gift to Northy. All she want was nice. This is not about me. God is still alive, so I'm free. That whole thing about pen and that whole thing. Oh, come to. I was so fucking bored by this track. Like. You have no idea how ready I was for this album to be over by the time I got to that. Or even worse, No Child Left Behind, or how it just said No of a Child Left Behind, because it doesn't even sound like he's saying Child, Ooh. it's like No Child Left Behind. This was his fucking last track on Abbey Road. This is his fucking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. This was his. Ah, you know right what I mean? My dreams. <laughs> uh, thanks, Kanye. Here's an extra oh, long drum me. solo. Hit it. Ringo. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. What a fucking slog. And, and then he would like that Cabin to Life song. I was thinking like, oh, yeah, I, I, maybe I could imagine someone singing along with this. Yeah, yeah. But then when the chorus is interrupted by that line about like brought a gift to Northy, all she wanted was Nikes. It's just like, who's relating to this? <laughs> A lot of this, going back to the baby, a lot of this shit wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for context. If another yeah. rapper was saying some of these bars on under on, under different circumstances of not being Kanye, not having embarrassed himself for over a year, hitching himself to Trump, not saying slavery was a choice, not yeah. saying he was born <laughs> again and a man of God and all of this and. Like, all of this taints your vision of him, so... Right. It's like, on one hand, you want to just kind of take it objectively and just be like, you want to listen to the lyrics as it is, but it's hard to separate him from who's saying it, and ultimately that does kind of taint the experience a little bit. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, though, I still walked away with a three. I gave it a two. Yeah. I gave it a two. I was surprised Which, by my three. I was like, I, I, I think I did the math man, more than once. Me too. I was like, are I you fucking su- sure? <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly surprised by it because the last album, Jesus King, I gave it a one. I think you gave it a two, but I, I gave it the even lower rating. And it's funny, I'm, giving, I'm still giving it the lower rating, but it's still higher. Like, because I think just, you know, for just as many songs as there were, there was good production. Like, so it's just the numbers game of, like, by nature, there were more likely better things happening overall in general. With all that said, that fucking chapter of our lives is over, and uh, thankfully so. But I want to thank you so much for spending your time with us and listening to what we had to say about this. I know a lot of people were eagerly awaiting because they kept pushing it back and keep pushing it back but we had we we i kept an eye on it and i think we jokingly after a while we're like if it's not coming out this week we're not doing it but yeah. th- we were lying to ourselves <laughs> we knew damn well that when that album came out we would be right the fuck here doing exactly <laughs> what was expected of us so like fools <laughs> like fools we knew but thank you very much. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the um, what the schedule. I know we talked about it, but I don't remember what weeks we were taking off and which weeks because our scheduling is conflicting a little bit with the show, unfortunately. But we all got our stuff going on. Um, so, and I know your show. You need some time to work on uh, the reviews. Yeah. So were we skipping this coming week or the next week? I think we can do this next week or the week after. I would need off. Because this next week is... So so the people get Drake. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> that is really the only reason I asked. Because I wanted to know <laughs> if I needed to listen to Drake this week or not. But I think yeah, it's fresher probably. in people's minds. We might as well. We'll do Drake and 
probably a request unless Drake's is another fucking two hour. Oh, double album magnum opus. Uh, uh, trying to game the goddamn Spotify uh, uh, algorithms. We're gonna wake up on fucking Wednesday morning and Drake is gonna be all fucking 100 in the top of the fucking Billboard charts. Oh, no! I fucking With can't stand that shit when a new tracks. album comes out and like, oh, there's like eight songs in the top ten. Like, yeah, right now. What about right next here. week? <laughs> Fuck no. They're all gonna be gone. They're all gonna be in the nineties. No one remembers the eight other songs that were off of the uh, if you're reading this it's too late or whatever the fuck that weren't the big hits. <laughs> I remember when we did the J. Cole album, like every but maybe one song off the album were like in the top twenty, and it was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but that, that's the plan going forward. Um, card subject to change. But until then, you can follow us on our socials. We both got Patreons. We both got Kofis. You can request an album to be reviewed on our joint Kofi at ko-fi.com slash ko-fi. Um, yes, that is, wait, wait, did you just, did you just say ko-fi at the end there? I might have. K- K-O <laughs> dash F-I dot com slash going off G-O-I-N-O-F-F. Thank you for paying attention. Yes. My that mind is where you is go elsewhere. to request the albums for the Going Off podcast. And if you would want to request a uh, movie or a uh, song mm. for me to review for Rap Critic or my movie podcast, that's the uh, uh, Kofi dot com slash Rap Critic. Yeah, that's, that's the one. There you go. God damn it. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the same mistake I did. Um, well, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, um, if you want to play some catch-up, all the old episodes are on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. Was able to get all those. Don't fucking think back if I said another one twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> Although, so with my track record, I wouldn't be surprised. Rap Critic Abuse, it, professional internet people. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can definitely tell we've been doing this for, like, six years. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for going off, um, well, actually, no, I, 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 wa- I wanted to uh, let you get the um, the Twitch. I, I fucking cut you off. You got the Twitch oh, streams yeah, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, if you want to check me out streaming, I go through the Billboard's Top 100, and sometimes I'll do, like, you know, favorite samples or something like that on mm. my Twitch, twitch.tv slash rap critical. Uh, sometimes I'll do like you know samples. Other times I'll do like best of like one of my favorite artists. Oh, like, yeah. just did Kendrick Lamar. That was a real fun one. And that was like a you know someone asks like, but Kendrick Lamar has like awesome like albums. How do you do that? It was like, hey, we got to do the best of the best of the best. Then like that's <laughs> and they you all know? just make it except for like maybe a couple tracks. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I didn't like that interlude. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe a song from Untitled Unmasters don't make it. <laughs> right. Um, but until oh. next time, <clears throat> gosh, until next time, there it is, for going off, I'm Muse. And I'm Rap Critic, and we're the best collab since Taco Bell and KFC. Oh. Uh.